September is National Suicide Prevention Month. This week is also National Suicide Prevention Week. Now, I spoke to the local VA center about how to help a veteran that may be in need. According to the Veterans Administration's suicide report, 22 veterans commit suicide every day. The Providence VA Medical Center held a suicide awareness walk and informational day Wednesday, and Beverly Franklin was front and center. He is originally from Newport, Rhode Island, and he was a teacher. And um, he answered that call and he went. Her son, veteran and sergeant Michael T. Franklin, committed suicide nine years ago, she says, due to PTSD. Franklin says she keeps coming to suicide prevention events because her son is not the only one. Veterans face unique challenges when they come home that affect their mental health. That includes feelings of isolation, PTSD, and... It's difficult because you're very structured over there and you have to do things a certain way. Sometimes that transition is very difficult. Suicide is the tenth leading cause of death in, uh, in our state. Um, it is the second leading cause of death for our youth um, in the state. In light of the month and week, the Providence VA Center is highlighting the Be There campaign, encouraging community leaders, veteran families, and friends to prevent suicide by showing support. The medical center says more than 6,000 veterans die by suicide every year. They say one of the best things you can do as someone who loves a veteran is to keep communicating with them and show you care. Uh, VA is very committed to suicide prevention, so every year we try to have um, different events to make sure that um, people know what the VA is doing, what our resources are in the community. As well as learning the warning signs of suicide, feelings of hopelessness, anxiety, rage, alcohol or drug abuse, and isolation. And I will not stop until the numbers come down to zero, because I see in too many eyes what I saw in my son's eye, that hurt, that, that darkness, that they saw too much and that they did too much. And I couldn't help my son, but I can help other people. Now, if you are in need of help or know anyone that is in need of help, you can call the Veterans Crisis Line listed below. The VA Medical Center is also hosting suicide prevention events all month long, and you can find those events also listed below. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.